So yeah, but isn't that cool right there, man? That's just awesome. That's cool. You do. All right, guys. Sorry about that. Little little quality time with the fox there. <laughs> um, where do we go today? All right. Uh, first thing I got to say is I get asked the question a lot. Who makes the absolute best tool out there? Is it Milwaukee Makita or Dewalt? And I've had the I've been fortunate enough to be able to go behind the scenes with all three companies, and I can tell you that all three of them put an amazing amount of quality into their tool brand. But that doesn't mean everything that they build is absolutely perfect or flawless. And sometimes they build something that I don't know, it's a complete screw up. And today when I start this video, I assumed that the quality that was going to be in this DeWalt mower would be the same as the quality that was in the rest of the DeWalt brand of tools because I own DeWalt tools. I love DeWalt tools. But what I found when I actually started to use this thing shocked and surprised me. In fact, I was, I don't even know what to say now and it's been three weeks later. So you're just gonna see it. So at the end of this video today, well, a couple things. We're gonna talk about torque, the ability to start up and actually start cutting grass. Now we're gonna fire this bad boy up. It won't do under under load. Works great. Um, all right, I'm gonna start it on the not fair, quite but... so tall stuff. Okay. All right, so now you made your point. <laughs> <laughs> it's not there and then we're going to talk about the runtime which was the biggest disappointment of anything with this thing and so at the end of this video I'm actually going to start the video not edit it and let you guys watch just how much runtime there actually is You're gonna... those were fully charged yeah oh you've got to be kidding me release that button try again that's it. We got one, two, three, three and a half swipes in a lawn from there to there. But then again, that's the weakness of this mower, you know? You're gonna be, I don't know. You guys comment down below. After you see that, you guys tell me what you think about it because I literally don't know what to say. But before we get into the video, I owe a giant thank you to Tools in Action. If you guys don't know who they are, these guys have been friends of my channel since I was just starting out. They literally took me out and taught me so much about videos and how to work in this industry and how to do these things that if it wasn't for them, half of the two reviews I've done, I wouldn't have had an opportunity to do. And today's video, I wouldn't have had the opportunity if it wasn't for Dan and Eric from Tools in Action. So do me a favor and go over to their channel and subscribe. And here's another thing. If you guys know of any bad tools out there, let me know that. And the reason I'm asking that is these tool companies keep their bad tools from falling into my hands. I have a skid steer coming, on, coming in right now, so it might get a little bit noisy. So if you guys know of a bad tool, please let me know that in the comments down below. And without saying anything more, well, before I start this video, you're gonna see me start to do the review based on the assumption that the level of quality that DeWalt puts into the rest of their tools is automatically built into this lawnmower. And I don't find out till later in the video about some of the flaws that this lawnmower has. So make sure you watch the whole thing. I gotta go see what's going on. right there because I had to let down before you shut it down one to two minutes to let the turbo cool off yeah, that's how 
What's that? That's on most diesel side. Yeah. How'd your job go? Good. Yeah. Now we're, up, yeah. Now we're you off to. I'm gonna call Blaine and see if they need me up at. They do. Yeah. Right. We will get this done in 24 minutes. All right. Um. All right, guys. So. I'm with Dan the Man from Tools in Action, and we're gonna be reviewing the entire line of DeWalt outdoor power equipment. The first thing that I'm gonna say is you guys are gonna probably just start bashing this stuff because a lot of you guys are contractors and this stuff is not really meant for you. I don't care what you say, this is not the right piece of equipment. Sometimes contractors are using this, and DeWalt has actually done some marketing towards contractors, but for the most part, at least for the jobs that we work on, the bigger, bigger projects, it doesn't fit. But this lawnmower right here is brand new this year. We're gonna be looking at this, some chainsaws. What else do we got to look at? Um, I got I think I got a hedge trimmer and a weed whip. Okay. I mean, there's a lot in the 20 volt line, and like you said, it is designed for the homeowner, designed for the guy that has that is the contractor that has those 20 volt batteries lying around that maybe is on that city lot, that maybe is on that smaller piece of property, you know. I didn't and, actually say that yet. Okay, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> okay, again, you guys, again, this guy comes in today, market orders. I couldn't eat since 2 o'clock. It's like, dude, I cannot handle the pressure anymore. I'm done. He's a drill master. I know. Oh, it's, okay. It's so, like this, this, this. No, 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 no. All right, so. Um, one of the things that I started to say in an earlier video, but my camera walked out on me. Professionalism. Was. <laughs> uh, brother, that's how it happens. Was, uh, this is actually meant for, it's, it's a great fit for the right person. And the person right. that I believe is the right person is one of those guys that has maybe a quarter, maybe a half acre lot. And a house that sits on most of that. And he's a weekend warrior, he's got his yellow, he's a, a yellow fan, right? So he's got his tools, and he doesn't want to go out and bother, he doesn't like dinking around with gas. Because I mean, it, there is some dinking around you do. Every year you either drain in, you're trying to get things, for, whatever. You guys know the, the, the drill. You just want to go out and cut your yard and get on to bigger and better things. Well, you, you take the, the battery out of your cordless drill and you pop it in here. Two of them. Two of them, and you can, you can go get your yard cut. Right. What battery did these come uh, with? These come with two 5 batteries and a charger. This kit. And it keeps it at a relatively good price. I want to say like $3.99 or $2.99. Somewhere down there. I can't remember off the top of my head because it was on sale. But you can get this for a relatively... For me, for the money point, I think it's a good mower. I don't like the runtime. I think the runtime is just horrible. I don't like the three battery fuel status gauge here because you really don't know where you're at. You're at within 33% of where you think you are. So you might have a full battery, but you might just be on that edge and really you've only got, you know, 33% left. How long have you used this for? Um, like four mows. Okay, so you're, you don't even, I mean, you don't have the, the paint wore off from it. You don't really have a whole ton of experience under your no. belt with it. But what have you noticed right away out of the game um, about the mower? Comfort, it's really comfortable. It has like almost a suspension on it. I mean, I've never seen that before. Cause I figured you couldn't put a suspension on it more cause it's uneven cut. Right. But it, I, I mean, that's all part of the, this system right here to bring it up and down. I Whoa. Mean, see how easy that is? Try that one handed. Okay, that's nicer than any other mower I've yeah. ever seen though. Oh, holy crap. You don't even have to hold it. Come around, oh, come around the this The pizza's way. here. All right, you go get the pizza. This. This is nice. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna hold it from rolling. Look at two two little flanges. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna give that an A for that right that, there. No, no, that's like the nicest up and down feature on a lawnmower out there that I've seen. That's gotta be spring loaded, right? I yeah, mean, the I've springs right here. I've never seen this mower. I mean, I've never seen this mower in my life, but I see it's got a spring here right next to the side and it's got a spring here so is that so this this spring is lengthening so that it wants to come back up on its own okay so it's spring assist right here so this spring right here is actually pulling up the mower I wonder why they don't use that on other mowers I mean I, you know I would see where that spring would be a problem down there. I think it's going to be intermission time for Luminati's. Oh, you want to finish? I mean, this guy's a slave driver. Do you want to just finish this? Let's finish this because I don't want to. But the pizza's right. hot. No, right. we're good. 
All right. I don't need him bitching at me. <laughs> but we're gonna he show he this does stuff. get that way. Okay, I know. So, oh my God. so um, what do you think of it right away? I mean, I was kind of, uh, you know, I, at Wait. first I didn't like it, but I, then I thought the quality was better. Is that just a pin? Yeah. And you can lock it in two positions. That's nice too. Most mowers, you got the screws and you're like. You're, does your cameraman do a lot of dinking? Nah. Kind of, yeah, no. I think I. I, I feel like I can just I leave the video and let the cameraman do This is what talking. happens when you have a non union cameraman yeah. on board. Man. I mean, I really we can't like afford any camera. Up on the side so. of the road. So. It's crazy. But no, I like it. Like I said, the runtime sucks. I mean, you could put better batteries in it, of course, but that's going to bring the expense up. But I like the steel deck. I like the ease of pushing it around. I mean, it's a really good little trim mower, too, for around little trees, stuff like that. Yeah. You know, especially we, we so got tell me about the runtime, though. It's horrible. Okay, but tell me about it. What it's is like it? a little bit over half a tennis court, maybe. Maybe if... How many minutes are we talking about? 15, 20 minutes, maybe, depending. Come on, tell me the truth. Maybe 20 if you push it. No, tell me the truth. 15, 20 minutes? I don't know. Seriously, I mean, I didn't you... time it. What do you think this is? <laughs> Tools and action. Yeah. <laughs> you know? All right, so you really did get 15 to 20 minutes out of two 5 amp hour batteries on full charge. Yeah, I mean, we're probably, probably closer to 15. I mean, I would guess. Okay. I was just, I wasn't going by minutes. I was going by area done, and I did my front yard. Okay, so let's grab the batteries that came with the mower. I want to see these real quick. We got to fold this down, otherwise we're chopping his head off. We're splitting you two apart. Okay, so here's the. Are we still rolling? Here, yeah, and it pull your pin again good. one more time. That pizza smells really good. Okay, so this is the two batteries that actually came with the mower. Yes, and right? the charger, yes. Okay, and the charger. But can we actually use the 20 volt? The, the 60 the volt? Flex volt? Yeah, yeah, the flex volt system in it. I'm, yeah, but then you got gas. Ooh, feel, feel that. It sucks those packs. Oh, that That's is hot. hot. Oof. It that sucks is, those pegs down. It, dude, it's a, it's a, a hungry mower, man. So, so that's how you, you know, that is your ultimate setup, right? It's actually with 12 amp hour, those are 9 amp hours. Oh, yeah. yeah. But I mean, with this setup, you're looking at a really good runtime. time, yes. you know, decent, you yeah, know. That's, a night, that's night and day. I mean, it's right? easy to carry around, like that, that height adjustment. I mean, even for grandma, this thing's good. It just depends. If you have a small lot and you want a quality mower, I recommend it. Obviously, if you're a pro, no. Um, obviously, if you have anything bigger than three quarters of a tennis court, I would say no. Or any yard that's technically bigger than three and a half swipes. Unless you want to invest in new batteries or you have flexible or something like that. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying is if you've already are in DeWalt's line of tools, then this is yeah, a natural sense. extension I mean, of it. Yeah, it makes sense for a small like area, yep. you know? Yeah, well, with these batteries, if you've already got these on hand, it doesn't make sense to go out and buy these because this battery itself is like 120 bucks, yeah. isn't it? I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't know either. It's I, think it's, I think it's like that. So whatever well, it might it actually be more. But so then if you put <laughs> two of these in, you got $240 in batteries in here, right? And then you got a, a mower for 399 Right. But it more had pretty good power. I mean, maybe it had too good power because it was just cranky. I mean, we didn't go through some deep stuff. And I was... We got, we're going to throw the two 5 amp hour batteries in. And let's go mow. At 6 a.m., like, just... That's cool. With electric, you can do that. I mean, no one in their right mind gets up this early except for this guy, but. So you push this in. Push that in, and then pull. Up. That's your, it's, not, it's not a safety key, it's just a don't steal me key. Yeah, they're kids, you don't want the kids to mess around. Is that dry yet? Yeah, it's dry. It's too long on it. All right, so Dan the man's got his lawn mowed already. So this is obviously wet grass. Let's see how she does. That's awful, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was just killer, man. What a machine. <laughs> what happened? Uh, it... What? Lift it up and try it. It can't not be doing it. I didn't see that. <laughs> okay, come on in. 
here. I want to show you something. We've got, we're going to try to cut grass, this grass right here. Let's move forward just a little bit into this untouched spot. Okay, cameraman, don't get your shadow on this. Now we're going to fire this bad boy up. It won't do under under load. Works great. That's the first I ever. I mean, but honestly, are you in kind of tall grass or what? No. This what? is. This is no. This is not tall. But grass. I mean, to start it, dude. I mean, dude, that's like that's like. All right, so we'll get. That's all right, all right, all right. I'm just gonna say whatever. Um, all right, I'm gonna start it on the not fair, quite but... so tall stuff. Okay. All right. So now you made your point. <laughs> now I agree with you. Okay, that's kind of scrappy. You mowed this when? Um, I mowed this a week ago. Okay. All right, so maybe let's just try it one more time. Okay, that's our mowing video for today, guys. Well, no. It is quiet. It is quiet. Like when you actually step away from it a little ways, I go all the way down and come back fast as you can. What? Go down and come back as fast as you can. I want to see if it, don't run, but just mow it a fast clip. If you're trying to get through it. I mean, we didn't even do two swipes. Is the battery gauge still full? No. What? Wait a minute. That's the crazy thing about it, is the run time slot. Oh my god, okay, so, so let's be very technical. We made one swipe, one full swipe of this lawn. We made... Uh, 15, deep stuff though. 15 I mean, you, feet you over worked. there across the street. It's not, it's not that deep. Okay, yeah, I'm not, well. I guarantee you, you run four more stripes this way and it's done. You think it'll make it four? It won't. Uh, huh? Well, this way, you said this way. My, uh, your yeah, way. Yeah, not the neighbor's heavy grass, my lighter grass. Like, see, it's cutting lower than my grass. What? You called that heavy. What? <laughs> Did I say heavy grass? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's early, man. What's with you people getting up at earliness? Okay, so we oh. don't. All right, so let's yeah, let's be straight up. We don't have two We don't have two full swaths done. 
I haven't even gotten my account mode yet, and I'm already getting batteries. This is my first account of the morning. Yeah. Okay. It's wet. It's not deep. It's not deep. Technically, over here, you're cutting over 60% of the blade off, right? What do you mean? Like, you know how you're only supposed to cut a third of the blade off? In this situation over here, you're cutting more than half the blade off. Oh, So it's yeah, not yeah. a typical application, right? Oh, wow. On this, even this is cutting a little bit too much. It should be one step higher, according I'm to... I'm talking about for in the real world. What? I'm in the real world. Guys grab the mower and they go to town. They go to work. They don't look, oh yeah, this is cutting more than 60% of the, the blade of the grass. Uh, some of you guys do that. Right, I mean, I don't know. I'm not an expert. But I'm just saying that. I mean, I don't like cutting like this because look at all the stuff that they use. I like to keep on top of it. I'd rather cut frequently and less than infrequently and more. You no, know? Yeah, you're right. That's the right way to do it. Can't argue with you there. Died again. It died in your lawn. Yeah, but the battery's getting low, I'm telling you, because it's going through all this stuff. It's a power hungry machine. You're going to cut this all up, right? To make it seem like I'm like a hater of DeWalt. I can just see it now. It's all cut up. Yeah, DeWalt sucks. DeWalt this, DeWalt this. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, he's running out of battery. What's the battery at? One. I told you. One and two. What? He said one and two. Okay. He so one is at one but battery. But they were both charged the same, so it's probably hadn't been. Were they fully charged? Yeah. Those were fully charged. Yeah. Who took them off the charger? Now it's dead. Well, you've got to be kidding me. Let, release that button and try again. That's it. That's it. We got one, two, three. Half. Three and a half swipes in a lawn from there to there. But then again, that's the weakness of this mower, you know? If you put a couple of flex bolts in it, I'd be curious to see how much we get with flex bolts. You want to put flex bolts in it? No, I don't want to put flex bolts. I want to put the, the homeowner bought it. He paid $399 for a mower. He brings it home, and this is what he gets. Three and a half stripes. You know what? I can get for $399. Right. Paid for and sponsored by DeWalt. Hey, I still like DeWalt. <laughs> I do like DeWalt. I think it's a quality mower. It's a good mower. The only huge downside is obviously downtime, or downtime, runtime. For $390, I can go, or yeah, $390, I can go to Home Depot and buy yeah. oh, man, a really, really nice Honda lawnmower. Yeah, but then you got gas. Ooh, feel, feel that. It sucks those packs. Oh, that That's is hot. hot. Oof. It that sucks is, those packs. Whoa. It, dude, it's a, ever it's a, a battery hungry mower, this man. Yeah. But other than runtime, this is not. Doesn't seem feel like. And lack of torque. What? And lack of torque. Well, yeah. I mean, but obviously. I mean, other than the things that make a mower a mower, hey, this is good. <laughs> 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 All right, you can have your electric. Back. I'll go gas. Oh yeah? <laughs> you haven't seen Ego. Alright, that's coming up. Yeah, if you guys keep, keep it rolling, dude. Keep or you wanna do that separate video? No, that's gonna be on your channel. Okay. Yeah, oh. so if you guys You're I'm gonna be I'm gonna be over on uh, Tools in Action. Here you go, Elliot. Has Elliot ever used Ego? Yeah, well not the mower, but the, I've used the blowers blower. and oh, okay. trimmers and so we're gonna be going through what are we gonna be going through on your channel, Dan? Uh we're gonna talk about just one of my favorite tools. Of the channel and the power beyond belief of the ego. If you don't get the tools to review the tools, you can't tell them what's good, what's bad. And I'll tell right. you straight up, 
one of the things that I've noticed is these tool companies, you gotta have a lot of confidence. Like the Ventrack of mine, those guys, no, no holds bar. They, they didn't ask me to do anything. They're just like, test it, abuse it, abuse it, do whatever, you anything you want to it. And to me, that tells me they are so absolutely confident in their machine. Well, if they give it to you and say that, yeah, that's pretty crazy. They, they did, they did. They're like, we want you to test this doing anything you want. And I was just like, golly. Did so, you beat it? Oh. Every, all the time. What do you think of the vent track, honestly? Honestly, it's phenomenal. Right. I mean, the I love the way it's built. I love the way it's put together. I mean, I love that thing. I mean, it's ugly, but I love that machine for actually being a machine that a guy that's working out in the field can use and feel good about and not worry about. And field fix, like in one of your videos. field fix. Yeah, I like yes. that. That's my new word, field fix. Yeah. Field fix. They don't call it that, right? What? It's called something else. Yeah. Field tools fix. In, tools in action. Go visit these guys. I love these guys. My foxes destroyed their bathroom. Oh my god, dude. Don't even tell me. I heard noises up there.